morning, Gianna. Good morning, Skylar. Today is Tuesday, May 22nd, 2022. So, what's this Tiger Talk even going to be about? Well, today's about the 8th graders. Oh yeah, today's the 8th graders' last day here. And to celebrate them, we're going to interview them, asking them some questions about their time at Epiphany. Sounds great. Here are the 8th graders answering those questions. What's going to be your answer? Going to Cardinal Mooney High School. Venice High School. Um, Cardinal Mooney High School. Venice High. Venice. Venice High. I'm going to Venice High. I'm going to Cardinal Mooney High School. Uh, Venice High School. Cardinal Mooney. Play soccer. Go to college and then just see where life takes me after. Um, my future plans are to have good grades and just do what I find the most fun. Um, playing, uh, playing college, lacrosse, and possibly doing track. I'm still thinking about it. Maybe something in chemistry or aviation. To um, have culinary <laughs> classes and like experience high school together. Get to Venice, play football, work as hard as I can, and then maybe go to college. I don't know yet. What was your favorite memory at Epiphany? My favorite memory at Epiphany was meeting the class and it'll probably be the trip in the next few days. Uh, probably playing soccer under the pavilion when it was like really rainy. Um, I liked Tiger Trot this year. What's special about it? It just like it was our last one, so it was just special. Second grade. Second grade is really fun. It was we always had a lot of fun together, and I liked I liked the. Who was your teacher? My teacher was Miss Anderson. We we um we had tents. We like roasted marshmallows in the tent sometimes in the class. Um, <clears throat> I liked the parties. We had a plethora of those throughout the year. Way more than I had in my old school. It was great. There's many. Well, we played soccer in the rain one time under the pavilion. Um, there's, there's many more, like when we went on a pyramid with our sleeves rolled up at recess last year, that was pretty fun, and more stuff like that. Um, playing football, that was pretty fun. Did you play on the team? Yeah. Um, what do you think is your favorite God-given talent? Um... Sports and singing are kind of my favorite things to do. What do you mean about your God given talents? Um, that I do have talent and I can display it in different ways. What is your favorite God given talent? I want to play soccer because it's one of my God given talents. What is your favorite God given talent? Um, I'm good with animals. What is your favorite God given talent? Um, find my ability to play sports. So, what is your favorite God given talent? Um, I think my sports is my favorite. Um, what's your favorite God given talent? <clears throat> my ability to speak. And my intelligence. What is your favorite God given talent? Uh, my favorite God-given talent is uh, probably my ability to be nice to others. So, 8th graders, do you have any advice for us? What would you like to tell the other students? Uh, I would like to tell them to um, study as hard as you can, get good grades, and... Um, Follow your dreams. Okay. All right. Thank you. What would you like to tell the other students? Uh, um, <clears throat> spend less time worrying about things and enjoy your life. Is that what you want to tell us? Any message you want to give your sister? Stay out of my room. Um, don't take 
a sesame for granted, um, like um, being included with everyone as much as you can and that the years go by really fast. All right. Uh, Mr. M's tests aren't as bad as they seem. They're just all the other tests combined. Any other advice? Uh, just have fun while you're here. It goes fast. It's good to be excited to graduate and everything, but take your time and like really enjoy the moment because when you get there, it like goes by super quickly. Um, enjoy it while it lasts because it's gonna go way too fast. And you're gonna be wanting to come back. Um, the periods will go fast and enjoy your time here. Um, sorry all your tests are gonna get blown out of the war, as Mr. M says. What would you like to tell the other students? Um, just live in the moment, um, because it all goes by real quick. Wise advice from eighth graders. Okay. Thank you. Go. That. Anything else you'd like to tell us? Um, I really like this school. I'm very disappointed I'm leaving. And I like how we're all a family and how everyone knows each other and that we're all friends. Eighth grade, we love you and we're praying for you. Marissa, Eleonora, Melina, Brock, Rylan, Christian, Anthony. Matt, Stephen, Will, and DJ. Your future is very bright. Go, Go out and, and make, make all your days blessed days. days. Man, public school is so boring. Hey, child of God. Whoa, who are you? Well, I'm Jesus, of course. Why are you here? Well, it looks like you need some God in your life. Yeah, I haven't been able to show him a Catholic at public school. Well, I see. If you came to a Christian cathedral Catholic school, you can practice being a Catholic all you want. That sounds like an amazing idea. I should go to Catholic school. What's so different? Well, there are many things that are different about Catholic school. Since it's a private school, there are a lot more students, so you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one time with the teachers. That's great. That will help me with math. For sure. And you can and you're also surrounded by other kids that are Catholic and so they follow the Ten Commandments. Wow, that's so amazing. I should go to a Catholic school. You know it. <laughs>